Oh, hey. So I'm um, I'm doing some videos this week because it's Mental Health Awareness Week, and today I'm going to do one on some of the physical effects of mental health conditions. I'm exhausted at the moment. I'm just knackered. My brain isn't functioning as fast as I want it to. My body wants to go to sleep at wildly inappropriate times of the day. And that's got a massive knock on effect because I've got a lot of things to do. I'm trying to get them done, but I'm too tired to think about things that need a lot of thinking about. And even some things that seem like easy wins. I just don't always have the energy to do physically, psychologically, emotionally, whatever. And this is a this is a real part of living with a mental health condition. In my case, diagnosis, diagnosis of depression and anxiety. This is definitely a symptom of depression. I'm feeling OK for the most part, but definitely my black dog is yapping a little bit. Not feeling particularly down or depressed or the kind of classic caricatures of depression, but the physiological effects are there. And they're telling me that maybe I'm not doing as well as I want to do. So the flip side of that is I'm still winning to some extent. I'm getting some things done. But in order to manage myself, in order to make sure that I don't get worse, in order to do what I can do, I have to recognise what I can't do. I have to put some things down. I have to try not to do everything. I have to take a rest. I have to try and get some exercise. I have to try and get that sleep. Even though sleep isn't coming easily at the moment. Everything feeds into itself. Everything affects everything else. And if you're feeling tired, you might not have a mental health condition. It might just be that life is a bit crazy at the moment. We're coming out of a global pandemic. We are carrying things in our brains, carrying other people's problems as well as our own, worrying about things that we haven't normally had to worry about. It's no wonder you're tired. Give yourself a break. A lot of us, when we're tired and we worry, we try and fix that worry by doing things and that feeds into the tiredness. I'm not advocating doing nothing, but what I do suggest quite strongly is that you do something, but something that you can manage. By all means, set yourself what some call a stretch target, aim for something and then think, what else can I do on top of that? But set yourself something that is achievable as your bare minimum. And if all you do is your bare minimum, celebrate it because that's what you set out to achieve and talk to somebody else about how you're feeling. They might be able to give you some reasons why you might be tired. They might be able to help you.